Hi, this is Jay from Things You Wanted to Say and Speak to Miss Jay dot com. What can happen in church that is not of God? I say it again. What can happen in church that's not of God? One more time. What can happen in church that is not of God according to scripture? Number one, not this is not the number one thing, but let's just start with one. There are cliques in church where Somebody that don't have a lot sit on one side. Somebody that do have a lot and maybe dress in a certain way sit on another side. That is not of God. It is a minister job to correct anything taking place in that church. Remember, Jesus said they're always going to be poor among you. But it is not our job to turn around and judge them, prejudge them, have them sitting somewhere feeling bad about themselves. It is not the people's in, jo- people's in church place to do that. This is not of God. Another thing, people that we sing in a choir. I remember growing up when I was young, I used to see people sing in a choir and ask the Lord, be like, Lord, it's okay people sing in the choir and turn around and party and drink and just got through smoking their vehicle before they got out the car. Is it okay for stuff like that? Do you really approve of stuff like that? Can you actually do something like this and still go to heaven? And you know, it's amazing. I asked that question when I was younger and I realized God actually answered that question when I got older. And the question is, no, no, no. When you go to church, church is about helping you to get closer to God to find out what he likes, what he dislikes, what he approve of, how to get you closer to him and develop a relationship with him where you can actually know his voice and he can actually speak and go like, nope, nope. Don't do that. Don't you dare. Repent to that person. Hey, you shouldn't have said that. Repent. It's all about making you think. Because there are some things that you can learn. There are some things you can do. You can actually be in God. Perfect will. Permissible will. And you can be out of his will. And when you know the difference, it makes a difference how we live our daily life. (laughs) And it really does make a difference. Because you will learn about God's true word. And you will lay aside all your sin and your strife. Hey.